Hey, this is Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. We're out here at the Sanctuary Ridge driving range today. Going to work on a few uh, drills, well, actually one drill in specific that I that will address some of the problems I've been having playing. Been seeing my swing on video, and it's not what I thought it was. I thought I was making a bigger and deeper turn on my backswing, which I am not. So for me, I've got a drill here. I'm going to explain why I do it and what it does and how it helps me. But I've realized I've been getting very short on my backswing about right here and then jumping at it, causing from this angle you can see I dive into my toes and I can either hit it left or I can even hit it right. So this drill, you can't fake it when you're practicing. You either stay level with your head and you do the correct movements through it or you don't hit it at all. So that's why I like doing this drill. So I've got a side hill line. I'll put the ball up above my feet here quite a bit. The ball will tend to go left. But what it's going to help me do, number one, is to turn more fully back because the ball is above my feet, so it's easier to rotate. And when I come down because the ball is above my feet, it's going to help me rotate more level through it. So let's look and see. I'm going to hit a few here, and let's hopefully it'll look a lot better than what I've been noticing on the videos before. That one's hit really good. Felt like I stayed more upright and didn't dive into it. Same there. I'm getting about a 15 to 20 yard draw off this lie. So when you're playing, if you're on the course and you have this type of lie, you're going to need to play the ball out 15, 20 yards right of your target to let it come in. That is if there's no wind. Also what I like about this drill is it's definitely helping me with my balance. I'm letting gravity of this hill help me. You can feel, you know, I've been wanting to go there so I've got the weight of the ground going this way pushing me back so it's easier for me to stay in it. So it's great for somebody with bad balance. The tend, most people tend to dive into it. So this one's a great, it counterbalances that problem. Helping you stay more grounded on your feet. Okay, so what I do to translate this over to the golf course, I like to play athletically when I get on the course and not be too mechanical. I want to feel what I'm doing. I want to visualize, see the shot and do it, and not think step one, step two, step three. So what I might be doing with where I'm at right now with my game is I'd get behind the ball, look at where I'm aiming, and I might take a several practice strokes where I'm just like this. And just feel like, feel the rotation, feel myself staying loose up top, firm down below, grounded, good balance, and uh, feeling that rotation. I get over the ball, I just want to feel what I'm doing, not overthink it, and just try to make that movement and not overcomplicate it. All right, hope that helps. It's a great drill I've done for several years, so I think it'll help you if you want to try it on the range. If you've got some balance issues or if you know you're diving into it at the top, or if you not, are not rotating enough on the backswing, this definitely will help.